Dear students, welcome to VTU eShikshana program. In our uh, previous classes, we understood uh, the importance of electrochemistry, then uh, the differences between uh, an electrolytic cell and a galvanic cell, the meaning of uh, single electrode potential, EMF of a cell, standard EMF of a cell, then uh, we derived uh, Nernst equation for uh, single electrode potential. We calculated uh, the electrode potential EMF of a cell, then uh, standard EMF of a cell uh, making use of uh, Nernst equation. In today's class, we will discuss uh, about uh, the different types of electrodes. What is an electrode? what are uh, the different types of electrodes, their functions and uh, applications. Electrodes are the most essential and important uh, part of an electrochemical or a galvanic cell. The surface on which uh, oxidation or reduction of reactions occur is called uh, the electrode. So, the electrode may take part in a reaction or uh, they may they may not uh, take part in uh, the reaction. The electrodes that do not take part uh, in a reaction, in the reactions are called inert electrodes. So, in today's class, we shall discuss what are uh, the different types of electrodes, their uh, functions and uh, applications. So, these are the different types of electrodes. There are uh, different types, metal, metal ion electrode, metal, uh, metal salt, uh, metal metal salt ion or metal metal insoluble salt electrode, then uh, gas electrode, ion selective electrode, redox electrode and amalgam electrode. So, we shall uh, discuss one by one in brief. So, metal metal ion electrode, say the best example is zinc in contact with uh, Zn2 plus ions, copper in contact with Cu2 plus, similarly silver in contact with Ag plus. So, when a metal is dipped in a solution having its own ions, in a solution containing its own ions is called uh, a metal metal ion electrode. So, these are the examples zinc in contact with zinc sulphate, copper in contact with copper sulphate, silver in contact with uh, silver nitrate. So, these are metal metal ion electrodes. So, in general the electrode reaction is M n plus plus n electrons give M. So, potential of this electrode is due to the oxidation of metal to metal ion or reduction of metal to metal ion into metal. So, oxidation of metal to metal ion or reduction of metal ion to metal is responsible for the development of potential on uh, these electrodes. Then what are metal metal salt ion or metal metal insoluble salt electrodes? So, in this electrode see here a metal is in contact with a sparingly soluble salt of the same metal. So, for example, mercury, mercury is in contact with its salt mercurous chloride, a sparingly soluble salt mercurous chloride and these two are in contact with a solution having the anion of the salt used. Mercury is in contact with its own salt mercurous chloride mercury is in contact with uh, mercurous chloride and these two are in contact with the uh, solution having the anion of the salt used. The anion of the salt uh, is Cl minus. So, these two are in contact with the solution of KCl here. Mercury, mercurous chloride. So, it is represented as Hg slash Hg2Cl2. Hg2Cl2 is mercurous chloride slash Cl minus KCl. So, these are the electrodes which contain a metal in contact with uh, a sparingly soluble salt of the same metal and uh, they are a, they must be in contact with a solution containing the anion of the salt used. Similarly, Ag, AgCl, silver, silver chloride, silver a metal in contact with uh, its own salt silver chloride and uh, these two are in contact with a solution. See here, they are contact with uh, a solution containing the anion of the salt. Anion of the salt here is Cl minus. Similarly, Pb, PbSO4 slash SO4 2 minus. 
So, the principle is water, the metal is in contact, metal must be in contact with a sp sparingly soluble salt of the same salt dipped in a solution having the anion of the salt used. Then gas electrode, see it consists of a gas in contact with an inert metal such as platinum, it consists of a gas in contact with an inert metal such as platinum, a gas is bubbled about an inert uh, metal such as platinum and that metal, that inert metal must be dipped in a solution containing the ions to which the gas is reversible. So, the platinum wire, a foil of platinum must be dipped in a solution containing the ions to which the gas is reversible. So, the best example this uh, standard hydrogen electrode, this hydrogen electrode, SHE standard hydrogen electrode, so contains platinum. So, hydrogen is bubbled into the foil of uh, platinum and these two or I mean this platinum is uh, in contact with, it must be in contact with uh, see HCl. So, it is dipped in HCl. So, it says inert metal such as platinum which is dipped in a solution containing ions to which the gas is reversible. So, these the solution contains the ions to which the gas is reversible. The gas is hydrogen, hydrogen is bubbled uh, over uh, bubbled uh, into platinum. So, when uh, the uh, when this electrode uh, see this electrode acts as anode, hydrogen undergoes oxidation, it gives H2 undergoes oxidation to give H plus and electrons. So, this uh, the gas is reversible to the ions, see this ions containing a solution, dipped in a solution containing the ions, ions to which the gas is reversible. He, here hydrogen is reversible to H plus. So, um, the metal provides the electrical contact, here platinum provides the electrical contact and it facilitates the establishment of equilibrium between the gas and its ions. So, at the metal interface, the equilibrium is established. So, the best examples, this standard hydrogen electrode, chlorine electrode, here platinum is dipped in, uh, uh, the, in a solution containing Cl minus ions and chlorine is bubbled into platinum. Then one more type of electrode, one more type is ion selective electrode. So, ion selective electrodes are also known as membrane electrodes. So, this electrode, these electrodes are selective to a particular ion, they, they are selective to a particular ion and they develop a potential proportional to the concentration of only that particular ion in the solution. So, this electrode is selective towards a particular ion in the mixture of ions. Here a membrane is in contact with a solution with which it can exchange the ions, the membrane is in contact with a solution with which it exchanges its ions the potential develops at the electrode depends on the concentration of that particular ionic species. The potential that develops on the membrane or the potential that develops on the electrode is dependent on the concentration of the that particular ionic species. So, the best example is glass electrode. Glass electrode is used to measure the pH of the solutions. And one more example is uh, calcium, calcium ion selective electrode. So, this glass electrode is selective towards H plus ions and it develops a potential proportion to the concentration of uh, the H plus ions in the solution. And this calcium ions are selective towards Ca2 plus ions. And next type of electrodes is uh, redox electrode. So, redox electrode in this electrode an inert metal like platinum it develops the potential due to the presence of oxidized and reduced forms of the same substance in the solution. The best example, see look at this example, platinum in contact with uh, Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus ions. So, the metal platinum develops a potential due to the presence of these two forms, the oxidized and the reduced forms of the same substance. So, the potential arises from the tendency of one form to change into the other form. Similarly, platinum SN2 plus, SN4 plus. 
So, these are the examples of redox electrodes. Then amalgam electrode. So, these amalgam electrodes are similar to the metal metal ion electrode except for the fact that a known concentration of the metal dissolved in mercury is in contact with a solution containing its own metal. See for example, lead amalgam electrode, lead amalgam electrode, lead in contact with the mercury. See it is similar to metal metal ion electrode except that a known concentration of the metal. So, a known concentration of lead is dissolved in mercury. So, it is dissolved in mercury and this must be in contact with a solution containing its own metal. See, so this contains the, this is dipped. The metal must be in contact with a solution having Pb2 plus ion. Similarly, zinc amalgam electrode, zinc amalgam electrode, zinc dissolved in mercury then this must be in contact with the solution having Zn2 plus ions. So, these are the different types of electrodes. So, metal metal ion electrode, metal metal insoluble electrode, then uh, gas electrode, ion selective electrodes or uh, membrane electrodes, then uh, redox electrodes and uh, amalgam electrodes. Now, we shall see what are uh, reference electrodes. So, a reference electrode is the one which has a stable potential and uh, it, its potential is constant. So, reference electrode is the one whose potential is constant and it is used to determine the potential of other electrodes. So, the definition says a reference electrode is an electrode which has a stable potential, it has stable potential and known electrode, known electrode potential with reference to which the electrode potential of any other electrode can be determined. There are two types of reference electrodes. One is the primary reference electrode and uh, the other type is the secondary reference electrodes. Standard hydrogen electrode, she is the only <laughs> primary reference electrode. Standard hydrogen electrode, she. And uh, there are certain uh, other reference electrodes, they are called secondary reference electrodes. So, calomel electrode and silver silver chloride electrode are the widely used secondary reference electrodes. Now, we shall uh, uh, understand the what the limitations of uh, or the working principle of standard hydrogen electrode, the, the, its advantages and uh, limitations. Standard hydrogen electrode, standard hydrogen electrode is constructed, see, so it is constructed by dipping a platinum foil, a platinum foil is dipped in 1 molar hydrochloric acid. So, the platinum foil is enclosed, it is enclosed in a thick walled glass tube okay, and it is connected to an external contact. Okay. So, it is connected to an external contact wire. Pure hydrogen gas from here hydrogen gas is bubbled. Okay. Hydrogen gas is bubbled to the electrode surface so that the electrode reaction attains equilibrium. So, this uh, standard hydrogen electrode is a primary reference electrode being a primary reference electrode it may act as anode or a cathode depending on the nature of the other electrode with which it is in contact. When it acts as anode, when this uh, reference electrode, standard hydrogen electrode acts as anode, it undergoes oxidation. Hydrogen, see undergoes oxidation to give H plus ions and electrons are released. This reaction is oxidation. So, so this reaction occurs when the electrode, standard hydrogen electrode acts as anode. Hydrogen undergoes oxidation and releases electrons. When it acts as cathode, it may act as cathode as well depending on the nature of the other electrode with which it is in contact. When it acts as cathode, this uh, the, rea the reaction is exact reverse to this. So, H plus ions, H plus ions of the solution undergo reduction. So, 2 H plus plus 2 electrons give hydrogen, hydrogen gas is liberated. So, this is the reaction when um, this is the reaction 
that occurs when the electrode acts as anode and this is the reaction which takes place when the electrode acts as cathode. So, the electrode reaction, the net electrode reaction is 2 H plus plus 2 electrons give hydrogen. This is the uh, electron, the net electrode reaction and this is how the electrode is represented platinum slash H2 slash H plus. Okay. So, an inert metal platinum is uh, dipped in a solution of uh, hydrochloric acid into which uh, hydrogen gas is bubbled. Hydrogen gas is bubbled into an inert metal platinum and this platinum is dipped in a solution containing H plus ions. So, as the potential and the potential of this standard hydrogen electrode is 0, it is 0. As the potential of she cannot be directly measured by convention, it is arbitrarily chosen as 0. So, potential values of all the other electrodes are expressed with respect to this standard hydrogen electrode. So, this is how the measurement of uh, standard electrode potential of uh, um, other electrodes are measured making use of standard hydrogen electrode. So, this she is a half cell and the other half cell the test electrode is connected to it. So, these two are connected to a voltmeter this is a standard hydrogen electrode she and this is the test electrode. So, in this example I have taken a rod of copper, copper dipped in a solution containing its own ion say copper sulphate I have taken. Okay, copper dipped in a solution of copper sulphate. In standard electrode potential, we are measuring this uh, the concentration should be 1 molar, the concentration of Cu2 plus should be 1 molar. So, this is a half cell and uh, this is uh, the other half cell, these two are connected to a voltmeter and uh, there is a salt bridge to complete the circuit, right. So, now this is nothing but a cell, therefore, E cell is equal to we all know what uh, this E cell is, E cell is E right electrode minus E left electrode, E cathode minus E anode, E cell is E cathode minus E anode. So, here the left electrode is uh, the standard hydrogen electrode as I have already told. So, this, uh, this um, uh, reference electrode standard hydrogen electrode may act as anode or uh, cathode. So, if it was uh, zinc uh, then zinc would have acted as anode and uh, this would have acted as uh, cathode. So, in this case this is anode left electrode this is standard hydrogen electrode is anode and this is cathode. So, E cell is equal to E cathode minus E anode E cell E cathode minus E anode and uh, as I have already told the potential of standard hydrogen electrode is uh, 0. So, E cell is equal to E Cu2 plus slash Cu, this is the right electrode minus EMF of the standard hydrogen electrode, it is nothing but uh, 0. Therefore, E Cu2 plus is equal to E Cl. This is how the electrode potentials of uh, other electrodes are measured with the help of standard hydrogen electrode and uh, uh, that this nothing but the electrochemical series. So, electrochemical series or the activity series is a series that uh, consists of that describes the arrangement of elements in the order of uh, the increasing order of their electrode potential values. The metals are arranged in the order of in the increasing order of their electrode potential values. The series has been established by it has been prepared by measuring the potential of various electrodes versus standard hydrogen electrode. The electrodes are connected to she and their potential values are, are have been determined. So, what are the characteristics, the important characteristics of electrochemical series? Lithium is the first member of the series. Lithium is placed at the top of the series, it is the first member of the series. An electrode which shows highest tendency to undergo oxidation with respect to she. So, it is with respect to she. So, because the value has been determined versus she, therefore, an electrode which shows highest tendency to undergo oxidation with respect to she 
can be found at the top of the series with highest negative potential value. Okay. Then the an electrode which shows highest tendency to undergo reduction with respect to she. It means if an electrode is connected, say a test electrode is connected to standard hydrogen electrode and in that case the standard hydrogen electrode tends to act as anode and uh, if this acts as cathode then sh that electrode can be found at the bottom with highest positive potential values. This is, these are the important characteristics of an electrochemical series. So, it is a series that consists of the metals arranged in the increasing order of their electrode potential values and uh, the, it has been prepared by measuring the potential values of all those electrodes by combining them with, uh, by connecting them with the standard hydrogen electrode. So, these are the important characteristics. Lithium is the first member of the series. Then an electrode which shows highest tendency to undergo oxidation with respect to she is placed at the top of the series and it will be having uh, highest negative potential value and uh, an electrode which shows uh, highest tendency to undergo reduction with respect to she can be found at the bottom with the uh, highest positive potential value. So, here you can see the electrochemical series. So, somewhere where is hydrogen? Yes, here the hydrogen electrode is, its potential is 0. So, this is the increasing order of oxidation potential, see lithium with a um, standard potential value of minus 3.04 volt. These values are the standard electrode potential values in volts, see hydrogen with a potential of 0 and these are, these electrodes are anodic to hydrogen and the electrodes that are placed below hydrogen are cathodic to it. So, for example, if lithium or uh, let us take this zinc, when zinc is connected to standard hydrogen electrode, then zinc tends to act as anode and this uh, hydrogen electrode acts as cathode because this is anodic, zinc is anodic to standard hydrogen electrode. On the other hand, when copper is uh, connected to standard hydrogen electrode, then standard hydrogen electrode will act as anode this she will act as anode and uh, this uh, copper electrode acts as cathode. So, what are the advantages of uh, this uh, standard hydrogen electrode? So, these are the advantages, small potential is developed on the hydrogen electrode, hence it is considered as 0, since it cannot be measured and uh, the potential developed is very small, it is taken as, it is chosen as 0. Then in determining, it is all, this is again one of the advantages. In determining the single electrode potential using she as a reference electrode, the potential of the unknown electrode will be equal to the EMF of the cell. It is because the EMF of the standard hydrogen electrode is 0. So, therefore, EMF of uh, the electrode will be equal to the EMF of the cell itself since the potential of the standard hydrogen electrode is 0. But this standard hydrogen electrode has got some limitations. What are uh, the disadvantages or the limitations of the standard hydrogen electrode? Its construction is difficult. So, though there are uh, uh, advantages, so this uh, advantages mentioned above, this standard hydrogen electrode has certain limitations. Construction is difficult as it is not convenient to assemble the parts. Its construction is difficult. Then pressure of hydrogen must be maintained exactly at one atmosphere and the concentration of hydrochloric should be exactly one molar. Strictly we need to maintain these conditions which is very difficult under normal laboratory conditions. So, these conditions are uh, difficult to maintain. Okay. Then it is difficult to get pure and uh, dry hydrogen gas. Okay. Then platinum foil gets easily poisoned. Platinum foil used in the electrode gets poisoned by any impurities such as arsenic present in the gas, present in the hydrogen gas. 
okay so this will affect the equilibrium of the reaction so platinum easily gets poisoned and excess of hydrogen bubbling out carries little hydrochloric acid with it so excess if excess of hydrogen gas is bubbled then that will carry little amount of hydrogen uh, hydrochloric acid uh, along with it and hence the h plus concentration decreases so here we have to maintain one molar see one one molar concentration of hcl now so if hydrogen gas is bubbled in excess then that will carry small quantity of hcl along with it that decreases the concentration of hydrochloric acid and that affects the equilibrium again this is one of the limitations and one more limitation is it cannot be used in the presence of oxidizing and reducing agents it does not give satisfactory results in the presence of strong oxidizing and reducing agent so these are the limitations of uh, standard hydrogen electrode though standard hydrogen electrode is utilized in determining the electrode potential values of uh, the other electrodes these are the limitations of standard hydrogen electrode so due to these limitations certain secondary other reference electrodes were certain other reference electrodes were introduced and they were named as, as secondary reference electrodes so due to the difficulties involved in the use of standard hydrogen electrode so the limitations i have already mentioned due to those limitations or disadvantages of standard hydrogen electrode as a reference electrode some other electrodes of constant electrode potential were introduced and they were they are referred to as secondary reference electrodes so these secondary reference electrodes are commonly used in laboratories these are used to measure the potential even these electrodes are used to measure the potential of other electrodes potential of these electrodes are measured with respect to she how the potential values of these secondary reference electrodes were measured they they are measured or even they were the potential values of these secondary reference electrodes were assigned again with respect to standard hydrogen electrode only two such electrodes which are widely used which are in common use are calomel electrode and silver silver chloride electrode so calomel electrode metal metal insoluble salt metal metal insoluble salt again one more metal metal insoluble salt electrode is silver silver chloride electrode a metal in contact with uh, its insoluble salt and uh, they are in contact with a solution having the anion of the salt used this is a metal a metal is in contact with uh, its insoluble salt uh, mercurous chloride okay and uh, these two are in contact with uh, a solution containing the anion of the salt used anion of the salt is the cl minus ion so a solution of kcl is used in this in this electrode kcl has cl minus as its anion so the anion of mercurous chloride is cl minus anion of this solution used is also cl minus similarly silver silver chloride electrode ag ag cl slash cl minus so silver a metal with its insoluble salt silver chloride and uh, they are in again in contact with uh, say potassium chloride again a solution of potassium chloride is used here so it contains cl minus ion this is cl minus ion anion of the salt used is cl minus ion and anion of the solution that we introduce is also cl minus ion so these two are the widely used secondary reference electrode calomel electrode and uh, silver silver chloride electrode and what are the advantages of uh, this uh, reference electrode the secondary reference electrodes compared to the standard hydrogen electrode so secondary reference electrodes are preferred to she because construction and uh, operation of these electrodes construction and operation construction is quite simple and even maintenance is very easy so construction and operation of these electrodes are easy and potential values do not vary much with temperature constant potential values over a wide range of temperature they exhibit these electrodes 
exhibit. Then these electrodes can be operated in the presence of oxidizing agent. One of the limitations of standard hydrogen electrode is it cannot be used in the presence of oxidizing, strong oxidizing and reducing agents whereas these electrodes can be operated, they can be used in the presence of oxidizing agents. So now we will go to next slide, we shall understand, uh, we shall discuss and uh, understand the construction, working principle and uh, applications of uh, secondary reference electrodes. Now uh, this is uh, calomel electrode, so this is the representation of calomel electrode. Calomel electrode is uh, one of the widely used secondary reference electrodes that I have already told. So how this electrode is constructed, see it consists of a glass tube, this is a glass tube, at the bottom of the tube mercury is kept, mercury is placed at the bottom of the tube, this is mercury, okay. then above mercury, a paste of mercury, mercurous chloride and KCl is kept, mercury Hg, Hg2Cl2 and KCl are ground into a fine paste and that paste is placed exactly above mercury. Then uh, there is a glass tube, see this is a glass tube, a glass tube into which a platinum wire, wire of platinum is inserted, a thin wire of platinum. So the glass tube having a, a thin wire of platinum is inserted into the glass tube in such a way that see this the tip of the air platinum should come in contact with mercury. So this platinum is in contact with mercury and this is required for uh, the electrical contact. There are two openings from here, from here the electrolyte is introduced. So the electrolyte is KCl as I have already told this is an example of metal, metal insoluble salt uh, electrode Hg, Hg2Cl2, Cl minus a metal mercury is in contact with its insoluble salt mercurous chloride and uh, this is in contact with uh, a solution containing the anion of the salt used, anion of the salt is Cl minus and here we use KCl as the electrolyte, the anion of KCl is Cl minus, so a metal, metal insoluble salt in contact with the solution having the anion of the salt used. So mercurous chloride, the trade name of the trade name, the commercial name of mercurous chloride is calomel, the trade name of Hg2Cl2 is calomel, so only the electrode is called calomel electrode. So here, uh, from here the solution of KCl is introduced and what about the concentration of KCl? We can employ, we can use three different concentrations of KCl, 0.1 normal KCl, 1 normal KCl and uh, saturated KCl. So these three different concentrations can be employed, 0.1 normal KCl, 1 normal KCl, saturated KCl. Accordingly the electrode is called deci-normal calomel electrode, normal calomel electrode, saturated calomel electrode. If 0.1 normal KCl is employed as the electrolyte in this electrode, then it is DNCE, deci-normal calomel electrode. If one normal KCl is used then it is NCE, normal calomel electrode. If saturated KCl is employed then it will be SCE, it is called saturated calomel electrode. So usually saturated solution of KCl is used because of its ease of preparation. So saturated KCl is employed as the reference electrode. Usually it is used as the reference electrode in uh, uh, our labs, okay. So from here the solution of KCl is introduced and this side tube, there is a side tube, see the KCl, this so solution of KCl fills the side tube. This side tube acts as salt bridge, so it acts as salt bridge. We all know how salt bridge is constructed that I have already so it is a U-shaped tube containing uh, 
a solution, a solution of saturated solution of KCl. So, this itself, this side tube itself acts as salt bed gel. So, when we are determining the potential of any test electrode, then no need of any, no need of separate uh, salt bed gel. No separate salt bed gel is required. This itself acts as salt bed gel. So, this can be directly connected to the test electrode and the test electrode must be, um, test electrode will be uh, in contact with a solution having uh, containing its own ions. And uh, this side tube, this side tube which acts as salt bed is dipped into the same solution. Next in, um, um, in um, our uh, next class, we shall see how the electrode potential values of uh, the other electrodes are determined making use of this uh, calomel electrode. So, how the electrode is, this electrode is represented. This is how the saturated, I am sorry, the calomel electrode is represented Hg, comma Hg2Cl2 slash Cl minus or Hg, Hg2C slash Hg2Cl2 slash Cl minus. This is the representation of calomel electrode. And what about the electrode reactions? Just like uh, how this uh, standard hydrogen electrode may act as anode or cathode depending on the nature of the other electrode with which it is in contact, even this calomel electrode may act as anode or cathode. So, again it depends on the nature of the other electrode, nature of the other electrode with which uh, this electrode is in contact. Then what about those electrodes reactions? See these are the electrode reactions when it acts as anode when this saturated, I am sorry, the calomel electrode acts as, when it acts as anode, see mercury Hg undergoes oxidation. So, the oxidation reaction, uh, the anodic reaction is, uh, the anode reaction the, is oxidation, therefore Hg gives, Hg forms Hg22 plus and electrons are released. Hg22 plus combines with the Cl minus ions of the electrolyte to give Hg2Cl2. So, Hg forms Hg22 plus and electrons. Hg22 plus combines with Cl minus ion. Hg22 plus plus 2 Cl minus give Hg2Cl2. So, this is the net anodic reaction. If the electrode, calomel electrode acts as anode 2 Hg plus 2 Cl minus, 2 Hg plus 2 Cl minus give Hg2Cl2 plus 2 electrons. So, it may act as, uh, it may act as cathode as well. So, what will be that reaction? Hg2Cl2, if it, if the calomel electrode acts as cathode, Hg2Cl2 decomposes into Hg22 plus plus 2 Cl minus. This, 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 uh, the exact reverse of this reaction, see. I have reversed this reaction. Hg2Cl2 gives Hg22 plus plus 2L Cl minus. Then this Hg22 plus combines with uh, the electrons. Since the cathodic reaction is always reduction, see reduction, reduction occurs. Hg22 plus combines with uh, electrons so that Hg is formed. Then what about the net cath reaction when the electrode acts as cathode? Hg2Cl2 plus 2 electrons give 2 Hg plus 2 Cl minus again it is the exact reverse of the reaction when the electrode acts as anode. When it acts as anode, this is the reaction 2 Hg plus 2 Cl minus give Hg2 Cl2 plus 2 electrons. On the other hand, if it acts as cathode, Hg2 Cl2 combines with the 2 electron, Hg2 Cl2 plus 2 electron give 2 Hg plus 2 Cl minus. So, this depends whether it acts as anode or cathode, it depends on the nature of the other electrode with which it is in contact. So, the net reversible electrode reaction is Hg2Cl2 in terms of reduction only we have to represent. So, this only I have written Hg2Cl2 plus 2 electron give 2 Hg plus 2 Cl minus. This is how the electrode is constructed and uh, these are the reactions that take place when the electrode acts as either anode or cathode. So, as I said in the beginning, 
the concentration values, three different concentrations of uh, KCl can be employed and accordingly the electrodes are named uh, desinormal calomel electrode, normal calomel electrode and uh, saturated calomel electrode. The potential value depends, potential of the calomel electrode depends on the concentration of the KCl employed and what about those uh, potential values. So, we will see the potential values in the, the next slide. See the concentration of KCl. So, as I said, three different concentrations 0.1 normal, 1 normal, and saturated deci normal calomel electrode DNCE, normal calomel electrode NCE, saturated calomel electrode SCE. And uh, look at the potential values. So, deci normal calomel electrode 0 0.3334 volt. Now, normal calomel electrode, the potential of normal calomel electrode is 0 0.281 volt, whereas the potential of saturated calomel electrode is 0 0.2422 volt. Just observe, look at these values with the increase in the concentration of KCl. See, this is 0 0.1 normal, this is 1 normal and uh, whereas this one is uh, saturated, saturated KCl. With the increase in the concentration, with the increase in the concentration of KCl, the potential value decreases. There is a decrease in the potential value, decrease in the potential value with the increase in the concentration of KCl. As we increase the concentration of KCl, the potential of the calomel electrode decreases. The 0.2422 volt is the potential of saturated calomel electrode, whereas uh, the potential of 0.1 normal potential of the calomel electrode with 0.1 normal KCl is 0 0.3334 volt. So, the potential of calomel electrode is dependent on the concentration of chloride ions, chloride ions by, uh, by applying Nernst equation. See, we can say that uh, the concentration depends on the concentration, um, I am sorry, the potential depends on the concentration of chloride ions and the electrode potential is reversible the electrode potential, the potential of calomel electrode is reversible with the concentration of chloride ions. So, then uh, what are the advantages of uh, the calomel electrode? So, these are the advantages, very simple to construct, okay. Unlike uh, the standard hydrogen electrode, the construction is very simple here and uh, the electrode potential is constant and reproducible, the potential value, the electrode potential values are constant and the potential does not vary much with temperature. Okay. These are the advantages and what are the applications? So, it is used as a secondary reference electrode in labs in the measurement of single electrode potential to determine the single electrode potential of uh, other electrodes. This is this can be employed as the reference electrode. And this is the most commonly used reference electrode in all potentiometric determinations. So, this is used as the second reference electrodes in uh, almost uh, all potentiometric determinations and it is used in corrosion studies. So, these are the applications and uh, these are the advantages. Construction is simple and maintenance is quite easy and the electrode potential is constant and reproducible the potential value does not vary with uh, does not vary much with temperature and uh, these are the applications it is used as the second reference electrode in labs in the measurement of single electrode potential and this is the most commonly used reference electrode in uh, potentiometric estimations and it is used as the reference electrode in corrosion studies so in today's class we have understood uh, the different types of electrodes what is an electrode and what are the different types of electrodes, what are their functions, all those different types we have understood, metal, metal, insoluble salt electrode, then ion selective electrode, gas electrode, redox electrode, metal, metal ion electrode. Then uh, we have understood the meaning of reference electrode, the different types of reference electrodes, primary reference electrode and uh, second reference electrode and uh, uh, we have discussed even the construction and uh, working principle of uh, uh, standard hydrogen electrode, 
how standard hydrogen electrode operates and uh, how the standard hydrogen, what are the reactions uh, uh, when uh, reactions of uh, standard hydrogen electrode when it acts as anode or uh, cathode, then uh, how the potential values of other electrodes are determined uh, with respect to the standard hydrogen electrode and uh, what are the advantages of uh, standard hydrogen electrode and uh, what are the limitations that also we have discussed the limitations of uh, standard hydrogen electrode construction is uh, uh, difficult and uh, the, the uh, what is maintenance is also difficult and uh, platinum gets uh, poisoned. So, th those are the disadvantages or the limitations of standard hydrogen electrode and uh, we have understood uh, the what the advantages of what are secondary reference electrode, their uh, advantages. Then we have also discussed uh, the construction working principle and uh, um, advantages of uh, as widely used secondary reference electrode, uh, calomel electrode. So, next class we will uh, discuss about uh, the one more reference electrode, silver silver chloride electrode. Thank you.